Yeah. I guess now all of you know what's the cause of the incident just from this single frame. Yeah, yeah. You see, he's driving 67 miles per hour, which is not that much, but you still adapt uh, your speed to the environment in which you are driving. And he's looking on his chat, apparently, I, I believe, paying zero attention on what's going on in front of him. Every second you are crossing 100 feet. Throughout that one second will happen a lot. I had a quite big distance to a truck that was in front of me. I watched the right mirror. I went back. Suddenly I had only like a third of that distance. Like it isn't enough, not paying attention, raining, he's driving next to other cars, a $200,000 McLaren, he's accelerating. Oh! And oh! No! 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 Most likely he could. Avoid this if you would have paid attention to the road and not watch the live stream, not watch the chat. Uh, by the way, why he didn't have the chat somewhere like here, driving one-handed? Well, to be honest, um, just a few very skillful drivers would handle this. But first of all, you shouldn't accelerate when there is a war in front of you. You gotta pay attention to it. And second of all, when you are losing traction with the road, you shouldn't brake, you shouldn't accelerate even more. You should just let off the pedal and try to uh, correct it. As you could see here, the car, the truck here is driving a lot slower. Oh! Oh! No! 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 Fuck! Open the door! Open the door! Open your door! We're locked in here! Where's your phone? Oh, I just broke that shit. Me too. Help! Help! Oh shit! No! Oh shit! Oh! Oh! Michael! I Kill! Oh fuck! Well, this is not all because there is some. You can't see. Sh I'm most likely going to crash this car. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I haven't watched this so far. If he said this. Literally, guys, you can't see. Sh why didn't you are accelerating? Anyways, the I'd say even more bizarre thing about this is that he he made content out of it. Like the style he's there sitting. Uh, oh, whatever. Michael here. Michael, do you have your film on that phone too? His friend is bleeding from his head. Oh, oh. Take the phone, take the phone. Keep the live stream going. Oh. oh my god. 555k. I crashed my McLaren. By the way, I don't know the reason why he's shirtless. A couple days before my 21st birthday. He's not even 21, man. This is bad. I'm getting to the point that uh, all of these celebrities, celebrities are younger than me. He's my Richard Mills, so okay. Just kidding. Fuck, bro. My God, <laughs> where's the en well, the engine is on the back of. I did not think this was gonna be happening today. Me neither. God. Also, I I don't understand why he's recording it. Why he's uploading it on YouTube? Yeah, bro, there's literally gas pouring out your car. Now you fill up my tank today. Yeah, what is about it? You, you, hit, you hit your head hard, bro. I just remember, like, after it just panicking. This is again recording it. Why are you recording? 10 minutes long video. It has to have over 8 minutes, so I can put it there as just a stupid mistake. And how it endangered their lives and lives around them. For sure, there are a lot of people that don't know him. And then you are maybe asking what I meant by him being caught by his sins. Well, to find it out, we have to go back into the past, where it all started. Yeah, it started in Future Man. <laughs> Jack Colin Doherty, born on October 8th, 2003, is an American YouTuber and geek streamer. If I'm not mistaken, he comes from a very rich family, which is simultaneously also one of the biggest problems of his. His father is his biggest supporter, he allows him to do various things his mother disapproves of. He uploaded his first video on September 29th, uh, 2016. Here comes another problem. He got famous pretty quickly. He's a devoted fan of Logan and Jack. Jake Paul, and those are not that innocent also. I think there's someone hanging right there. Jake has been known to skip school a lot because he says it's good content and school also stresses him out. Children today have no idea what stress is waiting for them 
the second they will go out of, of the high school or university. He's known to have a chronic ADHD, which causes him to get in trouble due to interrupting his teachers. Well, I believe there are medications for ADHD. I'm not a professional in this. And because you gotta do content, <laughs> he revealed in his skipping the last day of school video that he had 27 unexcused absences. Well, on the other hand, we have to admit that he at least did something and not just like skipped the school and uh, went to the park or something. And now it's time for the controversies. Probably one of the first ones was a for Islava challenge, which he done in Target and Walmart. Uh, this video has 14 million views. For Islava, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, help me get up here for the thumbnail. Seeing this as a work of Walmart, why, why there's not a single normal day? Here he's apparently thumbnail. caught. Get out, now. Justin, for Islava. And, and they are still playing it. Okay, floor is lava. It is? Yes, go! Floor is lava! Hey! He did multiple of those. Again, kicked out, kicked out. Cops caught. We're just walking around and literally we did nothing. We did nothing, but you are well known that you will start doing something, so they are paying attention. Like, they could have just left us alone because we weren't, we were, we didn't plan on doing anything bad. You'd say that people would cancel him quite fast. Actually, a lot of fans have subscribed to him because of these activities and vehemently defend him. Kids. Such controversy grew after he moved to Los Angeles as many found his behavior to be increasingly disturbing. You gotta always, all the time, step it up. You will do Floyd Slava challenge, the next time you have to do throwing stuff at Walmart challenge, <laughs> well, I don't know. I just don't understand why Jack, who is quite a good businessman, I'd say. Most 17 year olds don't have a career already and you've had a career since you were like 13 and a half. So how many 17 year olds in the world can actually move out and have their own career immediately? Uh, he's not a good businessman. You could basically annoy the most people possible and then transform your content. Many people has done it, so why he could? In 2018 came another big controversy with the video exposing Ninja. If you don't know who is Ninja, Ninja is a big name. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Before this video, he uploaded trolling creators like Ninja by sending them prank donations. Then he posted the actual video where he claimed that Ninja had asked him to remove the previous video. He goes, hey man, I refunded all your donations when you did that video and also never gave you permission to use my content or any of my vids. Well, VODs for him, he spelled vids VODs. So, I mean, I never use any of your VODs if you're trying to, you know, say I can't use them. It's humor. <laughs> Ninja later responded saying that the text messages Jack Doherty displayed in the second video were fake. Altercations during live streams. In August 2023, Doherty was live streaming in real life with Fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> what is this nickname? <laughs> when Fuzzy threw water at Doherty uh, for addressing him as a beta. Uh, you don't want to do that to this boy. He won't leave it. However, Jack didn't stop and started making further comments as a reaction. Fuzzy then decided to slap him in response during the live stream. Oh shit, I, I need to watch it. <laughs> 6.3 million views, 35 minutes. Content, you need content. All right guys, so basically- Why oh, he's again shirtless, man? I bet hell's gonna break out and it's all gonna go terrible. Then why, why do it? Why you even are friend with these people? Sorry, but these people we saw at the beginning didn't really seem friendly. We did that to make him feel big. Y'all are gonna stare here and not clap for him? Y'all are all beta as f Sheriff, hey, this guy's f***ing beta as f God damn it. Beta said, hey. Yo, you're a bitch. What the? You're a little bitch. Woo, woo. Oh, you're a bitch. He doesn't even have his kick money yet. Yo, you're f***ing. I'm baby. Imagine being 33 years old. I'm baby. Hey, yo, get me some water bottles, Sean. Give me some f***ing. You're lucky yo. I made friends with your security. We're going back. You dog s***. Now we can't bust. There's a whole... Oh. Oh. I just I wanted to stop it before something happens and say that uh, Jack Doherty is oftentimes seen having a bodyguard, which is maybe by the way this guy. Uh, you know he's playing a tough guy with this bodyguard behind him with this with this big boy man. I slapped the that dog shot you. Didn't even hurt. I slapped the dog shot you. You punched like a bitch. I, I saw him back. Five fingers. You punched. You punched like a bitch. No. Does he have two bodyguards actually? What the hell? You you need to be f***ing humble. That is crazy. Suck my You're 
32 years old acting like that to a 19 year old. Speaking about bodyguards, here's a famous clip when Jake Doherty was arguing with uh, another guy I know, and he was again with his bodyguard. Get out of there, motherfucker! Let's go. Watch your language. There's kids around. Here. I didn't say any curse words. What I say? Just watch your language. What I say? You got a stupid shirt on over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, your kids bro? can't read what are you though. Talking about? Your kids can't read, can they? <laughs> Why? I thought that people love peace, love peace in their lives. Why you create these dramas? Peace, bro. Because he needs money, of course, but you can make money even, even different way. <laughs> I'm sure your kids me. watch. Right, you, get away from you me. You started talking to me, buddy. Get away from me. Uh, 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 you you see here, buddy got in action. Watch your kids, go wa walk away. Yo, yes, what the hell you doing? Hey, 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 Oh, what happened? I, I thought that this guy will attack him, but apparently this guy did it. And you see here, the bodyguard again in action. What the fuck's your problem? Your <laughs> uh, yeah, Jack, Jack Doherty is a tough guy until his bodyguard is sick. <laughs> Let's say it like that. Sometimes it's just better to like go away or like try to de-escalate it. The wiser, well, step aside, retreat. You want end? We are not stopping. On January 10th, 2024, Doherty was heading to a party with college girls, only to be put over by a cop for speeding. What would you do in this situation? You would take the ticket, be polite, listen to the officer, but no check. Despite being reasonable at first, Doherty marked the officer who warned him against driving too fast. 30 miles almost about the speed limit, you know. It's too fast. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you. All right, be careful driving. I'll stop. I'll never do it again. Boom, mom, 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 mom. Why? And then he had so many other dramas as we can see. <laughs> what the hell? One worth mentioning, I believe, is the grooming allegations. One kick streamer, Natalie Reynolds, accused Doherty of grooming underage girls with the intention of having them sign OF contract. New pictures. It's not written here, so I'm not sure right now. But <laughs> I'd say that those contracts were mainly for him. Like he would get, for example, I don't know, 70% of all the income they would get, uh, all those girls. But we don't know that. Jack Doherty has paid someone to take down and ban my Instagram account. Insecure Narcissist is mad. He can't make money of me anymore. In another social media post, she wrote, uh, blah, blah. this girl was 17 and Jack waited months before uh, for her birthday to get her drunk and sign a contract on a yacht. Abuse allegations. In March 2024, Jack requested that his girlfriend McKinley Richardson pose for a thumbnail. McKinley was visibly emotional and in tears. I don't want to be filmed right now. McKinley, this is great. Title and thumbnail. No, I'm kidding. I think you look hot when you cry. I'm just having a panic attack. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to be filmed. I'm sorry. Should I leave? I just need a second. Okay, but look at the camera real quick. This is a good no. thumbnail. <laughs> McKinley, I was kidding. But come on, for real. No, I'm kidding. You're so pretty, though. McKinley, I'm so sorry. McKinley, look how I want them to show you, them how hot you look when you cry. Like, look how fucking hot you are right now. She's a ten, she's an 11 out of 10 when she cries. Like, what the shit, you little puppy dog? Uh, politics expressed support for Donald Trump. To that, I can say anything. It, it just seems that every single presidential election it wasn't like bad and good guy no <laughs> it's always evil against another evil choose overall we could say this kid makes one problem after another you just could for the first couple of years annoy people so you become somehow famous and then transform your content to not being a douchebag anymore if you like cars shoot about them you have a macula you had McLaren. I would definitely not drive it in this weather in uh, when it's raining a lot and definitely not this recklessly If I would come from a poor family and I would get to that point, I need to not crash it the first turn, <laughs> something like that. But this mindset, Jack Doherty doesn't have. He 
grew up with a lot of cash. In that video when he exposed, exposed Ninja, he said that he had a new dope PC setup. He sent him three $100 donations while being 14 years old, somewhere around that. And this, this was nothing I believe. As I said, I gotta admit his grind because not everybody will buy himself at 19 years old a 10 million dollar house. Ay, 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 ay. Hmm? This is insane. Like, no doubts about that. I've always wanted like an ultra modern Minecraft looking house ever since I was a kid. And now that I finally got that, I feel complete. Mm. You know what I'm and like, again, I'm looking at this, I, I believe that he, he even doesn't take it like something big. I, I just bought it. I just bought this house, which in my country you wouldn't even buy after living 10 lives, I'd say. <laughs> he got to this point after a few years. This probably plays also a big role in his vision of... Your vision of money is just so crippled, <laughs> let's say. What the hell is he doing with the car? Imagine playing some video game and you would get every single skill, money, you would get everything super fast. Would it have a value for you? Maybe yes, but <laughs> I believe for a lot of people it would be just like super easy thing that they got. Probably Jack Doherty being a douchebag is in his nature a little bit, I'd say. That's the way he is, but the uh, childhood he had didn't definitely help it.